Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about watchOS 10.2. Now, watchOS 10.2 RC was released recently for developers and public beta testers. This update for your Apple Watch should be available in the next couple of days, but I already have the final build and I wanted to share what's new within the latest watchOS 10.2. I want to talk about some of the latest new features and changes, performance, battery, and official release date. There's some nice changes with watchOS 10.2 that I think you guys are going to be happy to learn about. Apple is finally short of listening to their customers so let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the latest new features and changes. Now, you guys will be happy to learn that Apple has brought back Swipe to switch between watch faces. And this is a feature that Apple removed and now has brought it back with watchOS 10.2. It was driving me crazy. I don't know why Apple removed it, but no longer will you have to long press and then swipe through your watch faces. You can now just simply swipe to switch between watch faces. Now, it is not an option that's enabled by default. This is an option on watchOS 10.2. So when you do update, you have to go into settings on your Apple Watch, and then you wanna scroll to the bottom until you find the clocks option. So let's go ahead, there it is. And then you wanna go ahead and enable it. There it is, swipe to switch watch faces a feature that apple has brought back finally they're listening to their customers this was driving a lot of customers crazy and it is now back with watch west 10.2 now something that i've also noticed is new and improved is the now playing for apple music and podcasts it is now enabled for the home when you're listening on a home pod so if you're listening to music on a home pod for example now you get the now playing options and you can control your home pods as they play just like so it pops up when the HomePod starts playing, and you can, of course, control the HomePods directly from the Apple Watch. For whatever reason, this wasn't possible before. I couldn't get it to work properly. And now with watchOS 10.2, it is here. Now, when you're listening to music on your iPhone, then, of course, the Now Play options populate on the Apple Watch. But now you also get it again for the HomePods, which is a welcome change, something that I really wanted because it was driving me crazy that I couldn't control my music when it was playing on the HomePods in the studio or at home. So, yeah, that's a welcome change here as well. Now, another welcome change with watchOS 10.2 is iMessage contact key verification. Now this is available for the iPhone and of course for the Apple Watch with watchOS 10.2. Now in order to enable this feature, you want to go into settings, you want to go into your iCloud settings here, and then you want to scroll to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, and right here it is, contact key verification, you can enable it, and there you go, you'll now have an extra layer of protection with contact key verification to prevent any eavesdropping when you're using the iMessage platform. So those features are now here with watchOS 10.2. Next, I want to talk about the battery and performance because the battery has also been improved slightly on the Apple Watch Ultra that I'm using here. And the animations have also improved as well. There's no choppiness at all. They look so smooth. The transitions, the notifications, everything just looks buttery smooth. The watchOS 10.2 is the update that I really wanted initially and it is finally here. Great battery, great animations, great performance. I can't complain at all. Now, when can we expect watchOS 10.2 to be officially released to the public? Well, if history is any indication, Apple released the RC on the 5th, so that means that next week, most likely on the week of the 11th, we'll see the next update for the Apple Watch, watchOS 10.2, most likely on Monday the 11th or the 12th of December. We'll see watchOS 10.2 release with all the other updates like iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, etc. I just wanted to share those changes with you guys within watchOS 10.2. Thank you for watching this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.